Indiana welcomes home a fallen hero. The body of private first class Brent Wood returned to his hometown of Spencer today. Matt Gregory from our sister station in Terre Haute has more. They lined the streets early Sunday morning, waiting for their hero to return. Flags in hand and hands on their hearts, some friends. Brett was the best friend that I ever had. We had a lot of fun together. Bro is my uh, best friend. We did everything together. We actually didn't even call ourselves best friends, we called ourselves brothers. A former teacher. It is a real blessing, not that he died, but that we can support him. And that we can show that he was one of ours, and we'll and we'll claim him, and we'll bring him home. And what seemed like the entire town of Spencer. Um, I don't think you'd find a person in Spencer that had a bad thing to say about him. Just a really nice young man. On Sunday, they all took the chance to say one more thing to Private Wood. From Bloomington to Spencer, they spoke with one voice: "Thank you." I was part of the funeral procession, and I can tell you, from Bloomington all the way in, there were pockets of people. Uh, and then you hit the, you know, the solid groups of people. Um, people who have a lot, people who have nothing, old people, young people. Uh, it's very touching to see all that and the community support. When they finally reached Wood's hometown, What's this? church bells rang out, signaling his return. The Patriot Guard and police escorts brought Wood right through the respectful crowd to West and Parish and Pedigo Funeral Home. During the ceremony, the town of Spencer was silent, just until Private First Class Brett Wood was escorted inside the funeral home. The entire town broke out into a respectful cheer, a final thank you. A lot of them didn't know Brad, but that's okay because they still appreciate and love what he did for us. An entire town that's united by their fallen hero and eternally grateful for his sacrifice. In Spencer, Indiana, Matt Gregory, News 10.